Fuzz to buy guy here. I'm going to show you how to install Grid Tracker uh, on your computer. Now I'm running uh, Linux Mint, but uh, you may be using uh, obviously a different uh, distro of Linux, but be pretty much the same. So anyway, we need to go to gridtracker.org, and I'll throw a link in the description. Then we're going to hover over and click on download. Uh, Windows installs pretty much, uh, you know, step by step. I haven't ran it on a Mac yet. But I have ran this on uh, a Raspberry Pi and I'm running it on a uh, Atomic Pi with the 64-bit uh, uh, Linux Mint uh, operating system. So we're going to go ahead and click on the Linux one here. And this is for 32 and 64 bit. Then we're just going to click save. Now, I have already downloaded this, but once it's downloaded, we're going to go in. Let me get rid of that guy here. And it's going to be in your download folder. Now, you can put this in whatever directory that you feel like. But uh, we're just going to right click and extract. And once this is done, I just made a, uh, a directory for uh, just for the purpose of doing it uh, on here. So we can... Let me open up another window here. So now, if we go to Home, Miscellaneous, and we can just copy that guy over. But like I said, you don't need to have a different directory. You can install it on desktop or the root or whatever you feel like doing. But anyway, to run this, you can do it through terminal. So if we cd into my miscellaneous folder in grid tracker and do an ls, as you can see, we have a bunch of different things in there. So if we type in the following, this will launch the program, but who wants to keep using the terminal if you don't have to? Uh, especially if you're out in the field or you want to want to come up uh, quick with it by just double clicking on an icon well we're going to go ahead and <clears throat> point this to an icon on the desktop so what we can do is we'll wait till this is up we're done with that guy <clears throat> we'll just cancel that And as you can see, here we are. We are up. And the program's running. So what we're going to do is we're just going to close that guy out. And we're going to right click on the desktop, create a new launcher here. We're going to click on that. And then it's going to come up. And we got to fill a couple things in. So we could just type in here grid tracker so now we have a check mark which is good we still have a, a message here a warning so we need to click on browse we can just click on home and we're going to go to wherever you put the grid tracker folder at once it was uh, extracted then we're going to click on this guy right here and if we hit OK, we got a check mark, which is good. And do you want to add it to the menu? Yes or no. So now we have Grid Tracker. So let's change out the uh, photo there. So if you right click, go to Properties. And we're going to click on the uh, rocket there. Then we're going to go to Browse. 
<clears throat> then we're gonna go back to home miscellaneous grid tracker and we're gonna double click on the ping file there so we can have it actually uh, showing that so we're gonna select it close and there we go we have the icon so now we no longer need the terminal so we can close that and there we go it's loading up working from the uh, desktop icon then you're ready to use the grid tracker so uh, hopefully this helped out and uh, thanks for watching stay tuned for another one and uh, don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe